So guys, Huey Fury wins a technical knockout against Samuel Peter in an absolute boring fight. A boring and horrible fight. Not a great advert before the Amir Khan fight. Um, I think it wasn't a good fight at all. You know, Huey Fury probably doesn't enhance his reputation. Although I like Huey Fury. I think he's a good fighter, good slick uh, style fighter. The only problem is his fights are very boring to watch. As a fight fan, it's very hard to watch Huey Fury's fight. People can talk about sweet science and all of that. But it's really, really boring. Like He's on the back foot, making it hard for a guy to hit him. It's good work, but he's like, he's not doing, he's doing enough to nick the rounds against this level of opponent. But it's just nicking the rounds. He's not he's looking sensational. He's jabbing a lot. He's not throwing big. He's not throwing enough meaningful shots. He's not throwing enough left hooks, right hands. You know, it's just like there's not enough work from Huey Fury, um, and I just don't think he's got the charisma that you know you need in order to be in huge pay per view fights. Unfortunately, uh, I think he needs to continue improving. Um, the fight was. A really bad fight if I'm honest with you a lot of fouls by Samuel Peter I think he was getting frustrated and he started fouling and if I'm honest with you I think he wanted a way out if I'm totally honest like I don't know whether he's he his shoulder had popped out I don't know what happened towards the end he he, he, he knocked the referee he punched the referee and referee was bleeding from the nose uh, but Samuel Peter was just frustrated I thought he was a terrible performance from him uh, he's old and I think he's probably time he hangs up the gloves uh, but he kept throwing low blows um, and I think he was trying to get disqualified probably because he was frustrated because there was nothing happening and in the end he ended up hurting his shoulder I don't know what happened he ended up popping it out and the referee uh, and his corner I think decided to call it off the referee decided to call it off it was it was a really bad fight to watch it was it was not great not great for a fight fan to be watching something like that um, I think I think I think Fury after the Parker fight, Fury lost a lot of credibility because a lot of people thought that fight was crap. The Kubrat Fule fight was quite dull as well, if I'm honest with you. And this fight definitely hasn't enhanced his, uh, you know, reputation. I just think Huey Fury's got one of those styles where it's, it's, it neutralizes the other guy, but it makes the fight so boring and so slow. And you're like, it's, it's not, it's not the most exciting style in the world. And I think. I think Huey Fury um, is probably not going to be able to improve that, if I'm honest. I think that's going to be his style throughout his career. That's the way he fights. But is it the kind of style that fight fans are going to take to? I'm not sure. There was a lot of booing at the end. I don't know whether that was for Samuel Peter or for Huey Fury. But it was just a terrible fight. If it was me, it would be the boo for, booing for the fight because the fight was terrible. The fight was a really, really poor fight. Um, the Parker fight was a really, really poor fight. The Kubrat Pula fight was a really poor fight. So whenever Huey Fury's been in a high-profile fight, it's been quite poor. And that's probably just Huey Fury's style, unfortunately. Um, he's a good fighter. He can fight. He's slick. Uh, but I just think against the top-level guys, I can't see the judges giving him the decision. Because the problem is, he's doing enough, in my opinion, to nick the rounds. But the rounds are very close. When you're fighting somebody in their backyard or you're fighting a champion, it's going to be very difficult for the judges to give you because you're not doing enough. He's not making it obvious to the judges that he's winning the rounds. Against Samuel Peter, yes, because Peter's so old and deficient and slow, Huey Fury can beat him. But when you're fighting an active guy that's trying to create, you make the fight, the judges are probably going to go in their favour. And that's why they went with Parker. That's why we went with Pulev. And I just, I just think Fury needs to do a little bit more. But you know he's young. He can still work. He can still work at you know his weaknesses. Keep coming, and I, but I believe Huey Fury has a career in the heavyweight division. He has. He definitely needs to move on, fight some of the top guys. Let's see how he can do against some of the big boys. Um, you know we've seen him take two defeats, but I think there's more to come from Fury. Um, he's just not the most exciting and the most appealing fighter to watch. But you know I guess some aren't. But leave your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you think. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.